How do you get someone out of Ukraine, especially if they get injured? There are ways, including for a journalist who got badly hurt in an attack. Fox News correspondent Benjamin Hall has been rescued from Ukraine after that attack left him severely injured. Mr. Hall was covering the war outside Kyiv for Fox News. His vehicle was hit by incoming fire. The attack killed two of his colleagues. According to Fox, Mr. Hall was severely injured and taken to a hospital, but he was still in an active combat zone and needed to get out. An organization called Save Our Allies helped orchestrate a mission to evacuate Mr. Hall and get him to safety, and now he's being treated at a hospital in Germany. Joining us now is Chad Robichaud, a board member and co-founder of Save Our Allies. Mr. Robichaud, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me on. First of all, I don't know if you have any updates on Benjamin Hall. How is he? Is he going to be all right? Well, um, I know he's uh, he's out of his major surgeries, and uh, and from what I'm hearing, he's he's in, he's in good good health, uh, minus just very severe injuries. But it sounds like he's going to do just fine. How did this rescue come about? Did you find out about it and contact Fox? Did they contact you? What was the beginning of all this? Yeah, they contacted us. We were we were here. Uh, Save Our Allies has been on the ground since before the invasion. Uh, we had one of our team members uh, doing preparatory work because we knew the was the invasion was coming. Um, and we uh, so we had already been in place doing rescues. Uh, we've had teams that had already been in Kiev. We are pushing medical supplies forward, bringing medical aid forward, helping uh, helping people move from dangerous places like Kiev, where where Benjamin Hall was. Uh, to safer places. So we were already operating and we were just getting ready to launch a, uh, to leave for another operation. And we got the call that said he was injured and his teammates were injured at Fox. And uh, we didn't know at that time that Mr. Pierre and, and Sasha had been killed. Uh, we just knew that three of them had been injured. And uh, within 15 minutes, we were out of our house on the road uh, to go into Ukraine to get to get him. And, uh, you know, I'm getting a record to represent our team, but there's team members uh, that were with me that their faces, you know, can't be shown because of the work that they do continually around the world, uh, doing precision rescue operations, and uh, and uh, it was just amazing to see how fast we're able to move, how to get into yeah. that uh, that combat environment and get him out safely. Tell me more about who the we is in Save Our Allies. What kind of people do this work for your organization? <laughs> well, Save Our Allies is uh, is is primarily special operations veterans and uh, and those who work in the intelligence communities. Uh, with experience in, you know, high-level special operations uh, work, specifically in precision rescue operations, uh, rescuing people from from combat theaters or dangerous hostile areas. And uh, in August, we we stood up to go to Afghanistan originally to get my interpreter, who served with me in special operations over eight deployments. We we're going to get him and his family, his wife and six kids. And we decided to stand up further and serve more people. Uh, we went into HKI Airport in Kabul, and we uh, we launched our team out. Went outside the wire in a in a period of uh, of ten days. We ended up rescuing twelve thousand people. Uh, in a period of a few months, up to now, we've rescued seventeen thousand people from Afghanistan. Americans, interpreters, yeah. their families, and uh, and, and uh, uh, vulnerable groups like women and children and Christians that were persecuted there. That sounds like amazingly dangerous work, being able to fly into Hkaya, as you put it, Hamid Karzai International Airport, which is the main airport in downtown Kabul, and get people out. One of your colleagues, Dr. Richard Jaddick, spoke, spoke a bit about transporting Benjamin Hall on Fox News today. Here's part of what the doctor said. Watch. Ben had some critical uh, injuries uh, that required a lot of attention. The bad situation was, or could have been, made worse just by getting in the wrong kind of evacuation situation. And so we worked hard at uh, putting together the right scenario to get him out safely. How do you figure out that kind of scenario? I mean, it's one thing for a, a government to be able to coordinate with another government diplomatically, militarily, you know, to get infrastructure, protection from the other government so they know not to attack you as a combatant. Like, how do you do that? Well, I mean, we, this is part of, you know, what you do in special operations. When you go into environments and you build relationships and rapport, you, ha you have the forward, forward logistics due to advanced operations to make sure that you have access to certain areas. So that way, when something like this happens, we can respond quickly. And thankfully, we had already uh, 
had done the preparatory work to have access to be able to get into the area and get out and bring in someone like Dr. Jaddick with us to be able to provide that life-saving care. I'm convinced that if uh, Dr. Jaddick wasn't able to get to him and, and, and be able to move Mr. Hall out, he would have not have made it. Um, and, you know, oh, it's you unfortunate. Oh, sorry. I, I, forgive me for interrupting. We've only got a few, a few seconds left. But, but I'm sorry. Before we have to, I have to let you go in just a second. I'm, I'm very sorry for interrupting. But before I have to let you go, did the Ukrainian government know that you were coming to try to get Benjamin Hall? Uh, we did coordinate with, with portions of the Ukrainian government, the uh, certain individuals in Kiev to know we were coming. Obviously, we want to we want to make them aware we're coming and instead of just showing up there. So there was some coordination made uh, and, and it was you know, important to be able to coordinate like that to bring them out. And very briefly, I, I assume Save Our Allies is not a charity. I'm sure there are people who are going to watch this and say, well, there's lots of Ukrainians who need to be rescued. This is a business that you are running. You had a business arrangement with Fox News to extract Benjamin Hall from Ukraine. Is, is that it? No, I mean, we, we are a charity. We're a 501c3 nonprofit. Uh, we're, we, everybody we rescued in, in, uh, in Afghanistan, the 17,000 people were all from generous donors who helped support us to be able to do that. And, uh, and the same, same here, we, uh, when Fox News called us, we didn't negotiate anything. We just went in there to, to do the right thing and help a fellow human. And, uh, and, you know, in this case, a fellow American. And that's why we're here right now. We're just helping, the, you know, our fellow humans. And we're doing it because of great people around the world have donated to us and, and, and got behind this cause. Gotcha. Chad Robichaud from Save Our Allies. I appreciate you making time, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.